So in our last video, I covered Flesh and Blood's fastest rising heroes through the Living Legends system. But turnabout is fair play, right? And today I flip the script and look at those heroes who are on the other end of the spectrum. Now, given that Fab is at its five year mark and not a one of the four OG heroes has yet to hit LL, it would imply their presence at the back of the pack. But in fact, there are several more recent heroes that are actually accruing points at an even slower rate. So today, let's look at the back of the pack, so to speak, the slowest climbers on the Living Legend board across the entire history of Flesh and Blood. A huge shout out to our channel members for supporting what we do here. If you want to get involved with the channel and the Dice Commando community, please consider joining as a channel member. Remember, these videos are only possible with your support. You can show that support with a like, a subscribe, and by leaving us a comment and sharing your feedback. Community first, and go Commando. Hey there, my flesh and blood friends. Welcome back to Dice Commando, and go again, a fabulous cast. And thanks so much for tuning in, because today, that's right, today, we are continuing to enjoy five years of flesh and blood by looking both at the past and the present, and of course, to follow up from yesterday's video, Today we're looking at the other side, the slowest gainers. Now, fortunately for many of these heroes we'll talk about today in terms of points, the Living Legend system is a cumulative system, right? Heroes gain points permanently at whatever rate, which means that all heroes eventually will reach Living Legend, whether it be six months, six years, or if we're being honest with ourselves for some of these kids, it might be 60. But hey, eventually they'll get you here. It's like being in the backseat of a car driven by a really smart kangaroo. <laughs> on the curb a couple times, but he'll get you there. <laughs> now, as per the previous video, we will continue to use a raw velocity metric. Very simply, the points that hero has earned divided by the days that hero has been legal. But fear not, my friends, because look at the bright side. The slower the hero's velocity, the longer that your favorite hero, your shining star, your love remains legal. And to that point, for me personally, let's go ahead and chat number 12. And by the way, as a side note, Many of you may have wondered why for this video series, I did the cut at 12 instead of say, I don't know, 10. And well, with my girl Dorinthia being number 12, well, it's almost like I had a plan. And that's right, my girl, my favorite hero in this entire game, Dorinthia, leads the way or leads the back of the pack, I should say, at number 24. You will notice, of course, we're counting up or, or down as it may be in this one. But we're leading with Dorinthia, and so she has been legal since the beginning as one of the OG heroes, 1,818 days of flesh and blood, by the way. with uh, Actually, it's a little more than that because I did the cut before that, but you get the point. It's been a while since the OG. She has 575 LL points with a velocity factor of 0.279. Compare that to uh, Starvo, who we saw yesterday, who was, let's just say, significantly higher, right? But Dorinthia kicks off a very interesting conversation about the OG heroes. Now, spoiler alert, we will not see all of the OG heroes on this list. Uh, and again, I, I kind of want to put in context, when I talk the OG heroes, it could mean two things. It could mean the four OG heroes, but really it, I consider the first eight heroes to be OG in, in the grandest sense, right? And regardless, we haven't seen any WTR heroes go. We haven't seen any ARC heroes go. Of the eight, the only one that's even really close and will probably lose soon, to be fair, is Dash. Right now, there, there's a bit of a chat there because this is one of the cases where I think the, the pandemic actually helped Flesh and Blood in terms of this from a legality standpoint. Is if we really think about, you know, would there have been ProQuests and RTNs and stuff around the globe in the way back days? Of course not, right? They were still growing but there would have certainly been more points earned over that, what, 18-month-ish period of COVID, right? Whatever whatever it mathed out to, we can all acknowledge that there were points lost, or uh, not lost, points not realized during that time, right? Which certainly affected Dorinthia as well as many of the other heroes, okay? Now, Dorinthia herself, awesome. I hope she stays alive forever. And I also hope that when I go back, I, I, I was really surprised we didn't see a, a light Dorinthia in Dust Till Dawn. I still think it's coming. I still think it's coming. Let me know below if you agree if it's coming or not. Right now, moving on to number 25 is another warrior, another one of my heroes. Go figure, Sir Bolton, Breaker of Dawn. So he's been legal since Mon dropped for a total of 1,244 days, earning 347 LL points just below Dorinthia at a velocity factor of 0.279. Now, Bolton is like... And you'll see this, it's a very consistent theme throughout this entire video. A lot of the heroes on here, it does not mean they're bad at all. 
They have super loyal followings and a lot of people are very good at playing them. And Bolton might be the poster child for that in many cases. You have individual, like Bolton on the whole, not a great hero, but there are some people who can really do things with Bolton. And uh, he's going to be legal for a long time. So just keep those sabers legal. <laughs> Make sure that you're taking out the Kasai's so the Kasai's can't take your sabers away. Let's just uh, put it that way. Next in 26, and I expect this to change very soon. But yeah, that's right. Dash IO, right? From a pure mass standpoint, I mean, look at the points she has. Only 67 points, been legal for 362 days as of the roll up of this. Actually, at the time of the publishing of the video, it's actually been uh, over a year by a couple days. And uh, that's right. Velocity factor 0.185. Now, everybody seems very high, very high on Dash IO, especially with that armory duck coming out. So we'll see what happens here in the near future. Will we have a repeat of the Lexi situation where she did nothing for a long time? Boom, for three months. Or does the fact that everybody thinks Dash IO is coming mean that Dash IO will not succeed because she's being teched into? I don't know. We'll find out very soon. But hey, there are 300 points on the line coming at Worlds, plus a whole boatload during ProQuest season. Moving into next, that's right, Max the Hype. Well, he's in the same boat as Dash IO. That's right, 362 days legal for 59 LL points, a velocity factor of 0.163. And you got to give actually a shout out to the Max players. That's a Big hill to climb. 59 L points have been achieved with him so far. That's actually pretty respectable considering where I would have put him if I were to just do a raw ranking. Way higher, actually, than I thought he would be. Next, I'm sorry, Kevin. I love you, my friend. But you know what? Look on the bright side. Reinar, you're going to have for a long time, right? We've got a great brute nation here in PDX. Savage Lands Network. Kevin, who is just the most huggable person in all of fab. That's right. Reinar, Intimidate, Reinar Club. Hey, man, at least the club will be illegal for a long time. <laughs> You're probably going to lose your claws soon. But you still got the club. And the club, I think, is a really good card. So keep swinging. Keep intimidating. Go Brute. Arr. All right, next we have another Brute. Sorry, man, Sant, but Levaya, right? Mathematically, Levaya has been legal for 1,244 days, the same as Bolton, right? He, the, the, two, the two shunned heroes, right? Remember, we had uh, Prism and chain on the top end in yesterday's video and today we're talking the other side of monarch the dark side of monarch but not in the shadow sense Leviah and bolton so Leviah, 1244 days only 137 ll points but i tell you what i don't know who man sant is paying off but Leviah keeps getting cards shadow realm horror oh my goodness eventually he's going to get in one of the devs ears and Leviah's is going to get busted and she's going to shoot to the top doing the Lexi thing. Right next, we do have Riptide. So Riptide is another one of these heroes just keeps getting tech, just keeps getting better. The Azalea and Riptide 2 deck, if I may say so myself, is very interesting for him. And eventually, I think folks are going to figure out, uh, maybe maybe not, I should take that back. Because I think a lot of folks figured out how to play him, given the tools they have. But eventually, he's going to get the tool that they need to take it over the top. And uh, it's going to be Riptide's day. One day. But not today. 31. Teklovasin. He's getting tech. Got the AB he needed. But he's still sitting at number 31. 362 days legal. Oh, oh, you'll notice, by the way, all the poor Bright Lights heroes are on here. 27 LL points with a basically non-existent velocity factor. Poor Teklovasin. But hey, those shiny cards look pretty. And at least they're cheap, right? Go check out those decks tech out those decks in the truest sense because you're playing tech makes sense coming your way all right next is vincent this is another deck i'll just cut right to it 446 days legal since dust till dawn only earned 15 points but i think that's going to change very quickly vincent is like really good right now with all the new tools i i believe i believe vincent to be really good right now with all the new tools i'll say that i don't have any data to back that up yet but i think vincent's really strong right now so Keep your eye on Vincent. I do not believe that if we were to do this at year 10, Vincent would be uh, on this list. But again, we'll see. Because if she's still on the list, or if she's still not LL at that point, probably mathematically will be on the list. But So I shouldn't get it too ahead of myself. But I do think Vincent's got a future ahead of her. Next, we have Olympia. I don't think this one... It's actually probably a surprise to people that Olympia is not lower. Olympia got some points. So 7 LL points. I think five of the, I, be, I believe it to be true that five of those came with the single big win on Olympia Hatchets. 
which then quickly became Dorinthia Hatchets during heavy hitters, which was way, way, way better. So Olympia needs some help. Some is maybe being generous. Olympia needs some help. Seven LL points since heavy hitters. And after Olympia comes, that's right. I'm so sorry, my friends, but Arachne Huntsman. And I'm also sorry, Brian. I know, I know Arachne. It's oops all Arachne. I know that this is your baby. But Arachne currently is sitting with 13 LL points for 691 days legal with a 0.019 L velocity factor. Keep in mind what that means. That's points per day. That's pretty low. Arachne, poor Arachne's got some room to run. However, in a disruptive meta, Arachne is favored. However, he has this problem where I think New can almost do almost everything better than Arachne, and probably a lot of other things better than Arachne because of the mystic talent, mystic talent and access. So, Arachne coming in at number thirty-four, and that's right. Drum roll, please, for our slowest pun intended, I suppose, hero, which is Betsy, skin in the game. So Betsy has four LL points to her name, been legal for two hundred and forty-three days. And she brings up the rear in terms of hero velocity. But look on the bright side, right? Baby Sean, you're going to get to play your favorite hero for a long, long, long time. And I do, again, same vein as Lumpia. I think she's going to be getting some serious tech in the future. And I look forward to that. So anyway, that rounds out the list. This was super awesome. Thank you all for not only today's video, but yesterday's video. And also, if we're at this point, let me know in the comments, right? There's not a lot to debate over this because it's very factual. But let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this or not. And either way, let's celebrate five years of flesh and blood. Thank you all, says. Thank you all for watching. I'm closing in on five years till my first video, believe it or not. I'm getting close. But thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. And go Commando.